Top of the morning, friends and family. Today's my birthday. While I was in Daytona, I missed Eli's birthday, my, my now nine-year-old son, and I, I felt a little bad that I was gone for his actual birthday on a trip in Florida, so I decided I'd take my birthday and do the, his favorite thing to do on the planet, which is fish. He loves fishing. He's the family fisherman, no doubt about it. So we got ourselves onto, looks like a boat just left with a bunch of people and it was kind of small, but there's a bigger boat. And apparently that boat is the boat we're on, which is pretty sweet. We got a bigger boat with less people. What do you think about that, Cuzzo? Aloha. I think it's pretty good. Plenty of room. <laughs> What's up, buddy? You excited? Yeah. Yeah, big time. Look at the moonstone in the sky, the rocks still on the land. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Good morning, guys. Welcome aboard the Black Pearl. So down there on the deck, you got Brian. If you guys have any questions or need any help during the trip, feel free to ask him. We'd be more than happy to help you out. And as far as the weather, there's about a three to four foot swell out there. It's a little bumpy. If anybody is feeling sick, if you got to throw up, you go right to the rail and do it right over the you side. Say it. <laughs> I, what? You say it correctly. What do you know? I know that we are about to go on a fishing boat called the Black Pearl, and that's a fact, so there. Uh, the easiest way to explain it is it's like big boy Pokemon Go. You think I'd be allowed to like, go grab a pole with a lure on it and cast it out? I'm pretty sure that we need to wait until we get out to, the, to sea, bud. <laughs> but I saw a fish. I know, I know, you're all excited about it, I get it. Excited, Noah? Who's very. Hey, it's my birthday. It's your birthday? Yep. But it's Today. for his birthday. Today, yeah. Happy birthday, dude. Thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, 700 miles an hour. I'm just getting a beautiful B-roll sunset, sunset shot. Is it my silhouette? You know I, mean? uh, I, I could silhouette you. There you go. How about that? I think I look good as a silhouette. <laughs> ocean fishing trip was Eli's first time and he didn't want to stand at the back of the boat with me and he went and puked all up inside the cabin so this time where are we gonna stand Eli? In the back of the boat. Hopefully it doesn't make me puke. No, you're, you'll be good out here in the back of the boat with me buddy. This is where Why we... Does it make... Oh snap, breakfast time. I have to steal some of that pancake from you, boy. He's smaller. <laughs> that was fantastic. Good. Got like three to four foot, three to four foot swells out here today, so definitely stand at the back of the boat because I am definitely not a seagoer. I get pee sick. I got the first fish of the day. That's only natural. Well, sorry, uh, you guys. <laughs> I didn't take you for the whole fishing trip. I pretty much pretty quickly got really sick, uh, tossed my cookies over the boat. Haven't done that in about 20 years, but 
spent the rest of the trip on my back for the most part laying there. Uh, Eli caught five fish, true fisherman style. And, uh, and then, yeah, and then I just pretty much laid on my back the whole trip. So I think uh, what we'll do, we'll go back to the house. I got some snakes, cool snakes to show you guys since that was a pretty short vlog there. We haven't vlogged in a long time either. I just thought it'd be fun to do a, a vlog since we haven't done one in a long time. It's been more like reptile shows and whatnot, no, no real vlogs and stuff. So anyway, yeah, I spared you guys the visual of me hucking my cookies over the side of the boat. But um, yeah, let's, let's go back home and check out some snakes. How about that? Oh, man, that was quite the experience. A good one, mostly. <laughs> I went and got a haircut on the way back just to feel more fresh. For those of you who don't like the haircut, I got, there you go, fixed. Speaking of this hat, and speaking of this stuff that I've had sitting out here since Daytona that I haven't put away yet because I was recording the uh, radio advertisement for the All-American Reptile and Plant Expo coming up in uh, Denver. The second one ever next weekend. I'm hoping to see you guys there. In fact, while you check this stuff out, um, how about this? While I'm showing you a couple of animals from the clutch, like I said, I was going to show you uh, these two animals. There's only two. And so I don't think I'm going to make an entire like sharing of the clutch video since there's only two snakes. It'd be a real short video. I could. I probably, maybe I still will. But and maybe it'll just be something that links to Morph Market, not something that actually uh, uh, is a full video just here on the channel. I'll just have it unlisted or something. Just Anyway, it was a clutch that I was constantly giving updates on when you were watching me show the maternal incubation that was kind of failing when I kept losing eggs from this this girl right here, the yellow belly uh, pinstripe extreme gene het clown female who was paired with our boy from Canova, who is the Enchi red stripe spot nose clown. Um, so only two of the babies made it. So that's the ones I'm going to show right now. They're both going to be available on Morph Market probably pretty soon. The Enchi Red Stripe Clown is looking at super phenomenal. Like I'm thinking maybe, I don't know if the uh, Extreme Gene got in there, but just wait till you see this thing. I'm going to play the radio ad for Denver while I show you these snakes. It's Colorado's biggest reptile and plant show. Colorado natives host the All-American Reptile and Plant Expo on September 7th and 8th at Douglas County Fairgrounds. Shop oddities, terrariums, reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates, and plants from Reptile Basics, Pangea, and more with educational shows, face painting, and food trucks. Tickets for the All-American Reptile and Plant Expo are on Eventbrite. You can find details at denverreptileshow.com. Anyway, just really good looking snakes and the Red Line Report hat if you're coming to the Denver show and you have a story to tell and you're in the reptile hobby or industry, I want you to come sit down at the table with me next weekend and talk about that story on video on Redline Report. So if you're going, comment down below. I mean, comment down below all the reasons you might think to like whatever part of this video was your favorite. And um, I just want to know. So please do that. Thanks. Hiller's prepared me a special menu with some of my favorite food items for a multi-course birthday dinner. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy this with the fam. All right, Makai. Thanks, a plate, yeah. Nice, right, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, see you on the next video. Aloha. Happy birthday!